sit on the cold hard ground 
dollars, five dollars, you might save, will cost you a lifetime of spam emails. If you never respond to them, you never engage with it, they just keep coming. I have spam emails flooding my email address, my inbox, from just years ago. From this one time I went to this one store, and I've been paying for it ever since. Don't do it. That is so triggering and offensive to me. Ugh. Cleaning a cheese grater is triggering to me. Can't stand it. The constant risk of being cut. You use a sponge on it, just tears up your sponge. There's got to be a better way to do it that I haven't figured out. But uh, overall, it triggers me. Now, these have been lighter hearted in nature, but I am serious. I really detest all of these things. But on a more serious note, for those of you guys, that's what you come to this channel for. Some laughs, some light hearted fun, but there's always a message involved. I can't stand when people ridicule other people hobbies or interests. You know, everyone has something that makes them tick, that brings them joy. And because it's not your thing, who are you to ridicule and make fun of that and try to put yourself in a position above them for what they're into? I just don't get it. You know, especially if it's something new that you're trying to do. You know, nobody believes in you until you're at the top and then, oh yeah, I supported you the First starting out, everyone laughs. It's like ASAP Rocky says, you know, since when did it become uncool to try new things, to try to do something? You don't start out great, you gotta start somewhere and work your way up. The last one that is the most triggering and offensive of all, in my opinion, is patronizing people who have disabilities, either uh, physical or mental, like learning disabilities. And there's a really good channel on YouTube that I suggest everyone check out, especially like kids. Um, it's called SBSK, Special Books for Special Kids. And this guy goes around uh, interviewing people with, you know, moderate to severe disabilities and just getting an inside look at their world, their reality. So many times people say, like, they're talking to me so slowly, like, hi there, how are you doing? They just want to be treated like every other person, and I think it's really sad to see. Or when you say, oh, I feel so bad for this person, like, upon meeting them, that's the impression you have, like, pity for them. The first example I can think of is, like, Down syndrome. People are like, oh, that's too bad. Oh, that's so sad. Like, have you ever met and interacted with a person with Down syndrome? Not all, but most that I've met are so happy, so happy to even be here, just larger than life personality. I wish I could be that happy. And here I am making a video about what triggers me. <laughs> and I'm not trying to generalize, you know, everyone is unique, disability or not. But that's pretty much the video for you guys today. Um, uh, and let me know in the comments what triggers and offends you. By the way, if you're a first time viewer, this is not what this channel is about. I'm putting on a little bit of shtick and gimmick and having some fun with this video. But, you know, we preach positivity, being yourself, and embracing the uniqueness that is you. Thank you so much for watching. If you didn't get your feel of Chaos ASMR today, check out this video, my doctor cream.